Okay, let's check back in uh, with Mark for another look at your forecast, and we're looking at what could be a pretty warm weekend. Yeah, warm weekend, but really wet. Yes. But if we get lucky, Monday could be warm and dry, and usually Ooh. warm and dry. Maybe some record highs. We'll see. I checked the records. Uh, Sunday's record is 59, and Monday's record is 62. I think it's unlikely Portland hits 62 Monday, but Salem might. Okay. And 60s in January. That's relatively unusual. So very mild there. You see it's dry here in Portland. Uh, 48 degrees right now. The light easterly breeze is back. With It's been kind of battling the light southerly breeze today. When it's southerly, it goes into the 50s. When it's easterly, it stays in the 40s. That's because we do still have uh, very cool air east of the Cascades. It's snow covered below about 2,000 feet uh, from the Dalles eastward through the Columbia Basin. Boy, look at the, uh, I mean, mild winter, mild winter, and then all of a sudden, bang, for somewhere between four and seven days here, depending on how you kind of figure. It depends which part of the metro area and which part of the western valleys you're talking about. But, yeah, cold. And then we're right back to this mild stuff again. And we see the mild stuff continuing, you know, probably all the way out into here at least. So it'll be interesting in the end if we don't get anything snowy or icy in February, which can happen. If that doesn't happen, it'll be interesting because we'll have a mild winter just with this weird six or seven day period that caused a lot of trouble in the middle of January. So yeah, 55 in Portland today. I mean, that was only four degrees off the record high temperature and the rain. Yeah, we didn't have much today, but once again, we had rain. We've had rain almost every day this month, it seems like, or precipitation in the case of the snow and the ice pellets and the freezing rain. We're at about seven and a half inches of rain. That's a lot. So we've got more to add in because now look where the flow is coming from the south, southwest. I mean, this is coming out of the tropics and it's headed our way. So this is a pineapple express or an atmospheric river. It doesn't look especially, you know, it's not so heavy. We're going to get flooding, but it's going to really saturate everything once again. When it comes from this direction, snow levels are very high. We've only got rain coming up in the Cascades tomorrow. Yes, maybe early in the morning it starts to snow. Look how the blue just disappears, though, in the Oregon Cascades. All day long it rains, totally gray day. Now, Saturday, it seems like we get several waves of rain coming through. So, drippy at best. I don't think it'll be totally dry any part of Saturday for, for more than an hour or two. But then uh, pretty wet and warm and humid in Sunday. There's more rain coming through. We'll see if we get a little drier Sunday afternoon. This doesn't promise a lot of hope for that, but uh, we'll, we'll try to get a little bit drier Sunday afternoon. Total rain just from now through Sunday morning, uh, that's one and a half to two inches. So Portland, easy forecast, gray the entire day. It rains the whole day. You know when they film movies in the Pacific Northwest? I remember that, the X-Files, it's like the ocean. It was just always drippy. Everybody had like the jackets on and everything. It's gonna look like that tomorrow. Perfect movie making weather, 47 degrees. Out there, east wind uh, 5 to 15, maybe gust to 30 out on the east side of town. Three-day forecast, no freezing temps. And in fact, Saturday night into Sunday morning, we might just sit at 50 degrees for the low. And Sunday, we push well into the 50s. Do we get the showers tapering off Sunday afternoon? We will see. And then beyond that, Monday, we're calling it likely dry. And if so, that could be a pretty spectacularly warm day at the end of January. And then it's back to more rain Tuesday and Wednesday. And right about the 1st of February, right here on Thursday, that's when real, we see things going back to normal. Snow levels drop in the Cascades. Highs come back to around 50 or the upper 40s. And uh, everything should be all normal again, at least for the first few days of February, just beyond our seven-day forecast.